Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, the bishop of Elves of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation unto the elect, which starts with the 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who will believe on Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior is Yahweh Shai. And they are the powers of the Israelites. And today they will be the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. And also you speckled bird, Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and bloodline goes back to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson in law with this edifying, okay, and exhorting. And what you see on the screen is from uh, GMS Watchmen. I was watching this video and um, it said, This woman has accepted the MOTB and all you Israelites have been warned by Great Millstone. And that's true, man. Okay? And these things the Lord has told us, these secrets which he's revealed unto his servants, the prophets. We're starting to see these things manifest physically, right? And it was told before all these things was happening. Okay, now it's a, it's a common thing for uh, people to talk about the MOTB, okay? You even go on Whole we always mention Whole Foods and other places, but mainly Whole Foods, when I seen, they have the palm reader, okay? And I even heard a cashier, uh, I witnessed a cashier tell to a person who asked, like, do people really pay with their palms? And the cashier actually said, she said, yeah, some do. So some people have it already, man, okay? Which... You can't repent if you take the MOTB. And it's a physical thing. Okay, and I encourage you to watch this uh, video right here. This woman, I guess she received it in the mail. And she got her own little kit or whatever. But uh, all those that take the MOTB will be destroyed, man. All right? Because we're living in the days where if your mind is, is caught up in this world, okay, caught up on these physical things of the earth, you're going to take the MOTB and you're going to be destroyed right here in Babylon the Great. All right? Fire and brimstone. Okay? You're going to be destroyed. Point blank period, man. But let me get a couple of scriptures. Matter of fact, I want to start with this. Matter of fact, let me get this in Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, Sol uh, yeah, Wisdom of Solomon. Hey, man. The Lord has told us the truth, man. All right? We have nothing to be ashamed about. Okay? The why do you help our Shimei was shot for telling us the truth? Okay? Because we're starting to see the power of the Lord, man. All right? It's Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 17. And we have nothing to be ashamed of. We have nothing to doubt. For those of us of the hopeful elect, and we are assured in this truth, man. And we're seeing a, a World War III brewing up. First, the MOTB must come. Right? Everything happens in order. But at the end of the day, we're seeing these things happening, man. We're seeing the society collapse, okay? We see the tensions rising. Everything Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has told us is happening, man, okay? Well, hey, our salvation is nearer than we ever believed, <clears throat> okay? But this wisdom of Solomon 12 and 17, for when men will not believe that thou art of a full power. Who is, who is thou art? I'm talking about Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, our power, Okay? He's prescribed these things to happen in the earth. Remember, there is no free will. Everything was set up by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and we're seeing it play out. The Lord is showing his power and it's through prophecies, man. The mere fact that we have awakened out of our sleep and stand upon our feet, that's a miracle, man. That's power. Okay? For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. And guess what? The house of David is, is waxing stronger and stronger. More bolder and bolder because we have been told the truth. The Lord has not told us any lies. Everything that's happening on this earth, the Lord has already told us before it happened. All right? Whether you believe it or not, the Lord said, just go out there and warn the people, man. Okay? There's going to come a time, and it's very soon... Right in the future, which is soon, right where you will not be able to buy or sell without the MOTB. So, what are you people gonna do? And I'm talking mainly to you Israelites, okay? Because, contrary to popular belief, you heathen nations, you have nothing to do with salvation, you cannot be saved, 
Salvation is only for Israel. Okay? Israel is the Lord's people. Israel is the, is the one who the Lord has prophesied to enter into that covenant. That new covenant. And it starts with the elect on top of that. Okay? But at the end of the day, what are you Israelites going to do? Those of you who are so caught up with the, the glitz and the glamour of this world, what are you going to do? Because you've been chasing the bag. You haven't been rich towards the most high. You've been rich towards yourself. You've been living to your own desires, your own lusts. What are you going to do when they crash this system? Because you don't have any faith. You haven't been building up or building up or putting your treasures in heaven. You've been stacking your treasures on earth. So what are you going to do when they bring the MOTB? You're going to fold, man. But remember that we're giving you warning now, right? Ezekiel 3 and 17, it's a son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's all we're supposed to do, man. From the apostles, the bishops, the elders, the brothers on down, a great millstone. We've been telling you day in, day out, man. We've been sounding like a broken record to a lot of you people, man. And what are you other camps going to do, man? Because these other camps are still out here teaching that it's not the MOTB, that the MOTB is not the C the hip. What are you camps going to do? Because you've been out here teaching falsely, man. No, the MOTB is the C hip, man. The grain of rice. The small grain of rice they're going to actually physically insert into you, man. Once again, if you take that according to Revelation 14, 9 on down, you're going to be destroyed in hell, fire, fire and brimstone, man. You can't repent. You cannot repent from taking the MOTB. Okay? And it is the C-HIP, man. The MOTB is the C-HIP. Okay? A lot of you people out there still playing around, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Because the elect will wake up. The elect will not accept the MOTB. And they will be saved at the end of the day. The prophet just went out to prophesy, man. The Lord said, do. He said, whether they hear or whether they forbear. Okay? Time is short, man. All this playing games and running around talking about, I don't know the name of the most high. I don't know if it's a color. I don't know all this. Hey, man, all that time is, hey, time is short. Okay? You're going to repent or you're going to die. Point blank, period, man. Okay? And it's the words of the Heavenly Father, man. As it is written, he said, all those that hate me love death. So if you reject the word, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? And the prophets are giving you the word. All right? Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And how we know our salvation is nearer when we believe? We see the MOTB, man. That's a major, major prophecy, man. And like the apostle been saying, once they bring that, it's going to move quick, man. Hey, all hell's about to break loose, man. Now it's time to wake out of sleep. Now it's time to repent and turn back to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Once again, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashem means in the name Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior. Okay? He's the one that, that, that sacrificed for us to have this knowledge today. And Yahweh sent his only begotten son to the world to save it. To save the world of Israel. Let me say it like that because people love you that John 3.16 to include the whole world. But that's not true. That word there for world in the Greek is cosmos. Alright? Or orderly arrangement. Okay? There's a people the Lord is dealing with and it's the Israelites. Okay? That's it. The so-called Negro, so-called Latino, and so-called Native Americans, and even the speckled bird Israelites. Because your heritage goes back, you are who you are according to who your father is and not your mother. Okay? The man carries the seed. So you're going to have, in these days, according to Revelation 7 and 9, you're going to have Israelites that look like the other heathen, the other nations, but their spirit is the spirit of an Israelite. If you can receive it, but the natural man won't receive that, man. But the spiritual man will. Right? 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Put on this truth, man. How long you simple ones will you love simplicity, man? 
Here it is, the Lord has the word, the truth out. Everybody has a smartphone. Everybody has Google. Everybody has a YouTube. Everybody has all these social media platforms. And yet, you still have dumb asses out here, man. And I'm not, I'm not marveling at that it's dumb. Because the Lord said only the elect, you know, will receive it. But yet and still, here it is, truth has, in, knowledge has increased in the earth. It was a time where back in the day you had to go to the library, read books, make check marks and index and all these, these things. Or you had to be in the know to be put on game. But now you have Google at the palm of your hand. You can find the truth in the palm of your hand, man. And the prophets are out there on the highways and byways and doing video epistles day in, day out. The scriptures say the Lord has said, watch me upon thy walls which will never hold their peace. Day or night. So nobody has an excuse to say they didn't know, man. You just ran after your own lust. You see? And all those who want to serve their own belly, you're going to be destroyed, man. Once again, the MOTB is going to be the new currency. And without that, according to the scriptures, you would not be able to buy or sell without it, man. So I'm, I'm going to ask a question again. What are you people going to do? Because you don't believe in your how about Shema how shy. You haven't repented. All you've been out here doing is um, um, feeding your own belly, right? Just like this parable right here, the Lord, right, told this man, it's Luke 12 and 16. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. So he thought it was all good. He thought it was comfortable. Right? A lot of you Jakes out there, you finally getting your hands on a few couple of dollars. You know? Life is good. God is good. But you don't even see the trap you're about to walk into, man. Because to keep all those riches and to keep all those things that you desire upon this earth, you're going to have to cross over to the new system, the MOTB. And once you do that, you're going to be destroyed right here in Babylon the Great. And that's a fact, man. But see, those who repent and those who turn back to Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai and store their treasures up in heaven, they're going to eat in these days. They don't need that. The elect don't need the MOTB to eat. Because the Lord, Yahweh Hashem al Shai, he said, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink. You see? The Lord going to have miracles for those who truly turn back and repent. And that's a fact, man. The Lord did in the past and he's going to do it again. Because he doesn't change, man. But it say, 20. But the Most High said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose those things shall be. Those things be which thou hast provided. It says, so is he that lay up, up treasure for himself and is not rich toward the Most High. And what the Most High tell us to do, especially you men out there, you men of Israel. He said, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. We're supposed to be out there on the, on the front lines of this spiritual war, proclaiming the name of the Haobah Hashem Yahweh man. Crying out to our power day and night. You see? But yet, you know, people want to they want to live to their own lust, their own desires. I got my own life. This is my life. I only got one life. I'm going to do what I want to do. So guess what? You're going to eat the fruit to your own life. I mean, your own labors, man. If that's what you want to do, you want to be rich toward yourself and not rich toward the most high. Well, guess what? You're going to have to pay the punishment for that, man. You made the beds, you're going to lay in it. You want to do what you want to do? You know, you want to wave your hand. You want to, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to disregard the word, even though you heard it, because everybody's going to hear the word. But you chose to continue with your life and build and thought you had a future here. Well, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. But those who repent, the Lord is going to uh, give mercy to, man. So I just want to put a little quick lesson down, man, because the time is short, man. And now it's high time to wake out and sleep, man. The Lord ain't playing around. He's showing his power through these, these prophecies, man. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So Lord will let us edify and enjoy and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Kwame Asharala, to the elect.